This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Collaboration and refining the model, updating changes to a Revit link. Okay, we're in another chapter, so let's just go to pick up where we left off. So it was 2005, we'll open that up. Okay, so we can save as. And this will be 2101 again. And we'll save this as again. We'll say 2101 complete. Okay, so this is ready. So let's just save what we've done so far. We're going to refine the model a little bit here. Remember, we looked at this here and we see, oh, there's doors there, but there's no hole in the concrete. So it's going to be hard to drive through those doors. So let's fix that. So we'll go to probably a 3D view is one of the easier ones. I usually start there. We'll just go to 3D. Yeah, I mean, that's perfect right here. So now I can click the wall in question and then click on Edit Profile. That's one way of doing it. There are opening objects that you can add in there as well. But for now, we're just going to use this. So we're going to pick lines. We'll just pick the inside of this. And of course, you know, is this where it's cut? I mean, this is all stuff that you have to determine. I'm going to just use a split tool, split that, type TR, and we're just drawing. Okay, so that's one rectangle. Let's do a second rectangle. Okay, and then just spin that around again and finish that. Okay. Okay, so we've sent that off to the architect. Let's save this, and we're actually going to close it. And let's open up the architect model. And now let's make a little change in here. Now, first of all, if they brought in our structure and linked it in, they'd see our changes right away. But what we're going to do is in their model, we're going to make a change. So I'm going to go to level one. And I noticed right here, we've got a bit of an exterior wall. Let's just delete that wall. And then we'll just move our interior wall back to where it should be. And then we can go into that 3D view again. And just looking in from there, it looks a little bit better. OK, so just a simple change. Let's just do a save as. We're going to call this one 2101 architect model. Good, so let's close that now. So now we have two versions of the architect model. There's the old one and the new one. Now, they could have just changed this one, and ours would have just, as soon as we opened up 2101 complete, it would have just automatically been fixed. But we wanted to have kind of a different version of it, just so you'd see sort of before and after. So I'm going to open up 2101 again. OK, so now I'll spin around. It's still not fixed. That's because it's reading 04 architect model. So let's just go over to Insert, and then we're going to go to Manage Links. And here we go. Now we could try reloading that in, but why don't we click on Reload From, and we'll go down here to 2101 architect model. OK, and then we'll say OK to that. And guess what? It's fixed. Another little issue that I wanted to handle, the stairs. Let's go to our live section here. So live section. We got two sets of stairs. Really, we just made our set of stairs in order to learn how to do a set of stairs. If we wanted to fix them, I'm going to show you briefly how to do that. We would just go to a basement plan or foundation plan. And click on this and just say reverse it. So that little button right there just reverses the direction. So now it's going up the right way. I'm going to shut down this view. There we can see the other one. Looks like we have some starting and stopping issues, but generally it's right. I'm going to get rid of ours because the architect is handling the stairs in this case. As long as they fit in properly, I mean, we can tell them they fit or not, but they're handling the stairs. Okay, so we'll just save what we've done. I think I might want to do one more refinement on our model. And that is on the 3D views. I want to just make sure, yeah, so we don't have that extra live section right there. And then we can just zoom in and see that everything looks a little bit better. OK, so that's how you can reload changes if there are changes to the architect's model. Sometimes you might not be able to find, maybe they change the name or something, and you need to do that manage links and then click on it and say reload from, and then that will actually change the model that it's reloading from.